Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. I've been meaning to film a video for you guys about how to bathe a newborn baby. This is my baby, Bracey. He's actually a bit older now. He's seven months old, but really more like a four and a half to five month old because he was a preemie. But I wanna walk you guys through what are the steps to bathing a newborn baby before you put your baby into any sort of a bathtub. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully, Bracey's gonna be willing to participate, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, and this applies to everything when it comes to babies, is get organized. Get everything you need for your bath so that everything is within hand's reach, okay? That's number one. So what do I have here? I have some cups here, which I'm gonna use to rinse my baby with warm, clean water, okay? I've got two cups like this. I have a cup here where I've also put a little bit of safe soap for babies. You can use whatever brand that you like. Try to opt for organic. I've got two towels here, which I'm gonna use to dry off my baby when, I, when I'm finished. And in the sink, I have a bowl and I have filled this bowl with warm water. Now, why do I do that? I do that because I don't want to take water directly from the tap and put it on my baby because they, there can be variations in temperature. So you want to control that, okay? So what you do when it comes to newborns is you basically do a form of a sponge bath. You're not like plunging your baby into a bathtub with tons of water. You're not, you know, using washcloths or other fancy contraptions. You basically want to do a sponge bath. You want to make sure your baby's in a safe place. And that's one other thing to remember. Always have one hand on your baby. Always. Okay. So you take your baby's clothes off and you bring your baby into the area, you know, where you're going to bathe them with only the diaper on. And then as late as possible, you take off your diaper. So I take off my diaper and the first thing I'm going to do is begin to lather up my baby using this soap and I try to go within all the folds and I just soap him up and I get him as clean as I can, paying special attention to the neck area where milk can get caught, okay? I do his legs, I do between his little infant toes, I do his private parts and I just lather him up. And at this point, I'm not worried about rinsing. I'm just washing him. But I'm not yet paying attention to the face, nor to the head, nor to his back. I'm just doing his front. Now I'm going to do his hands. Hi, Bracey. As you can see, this really is just a sponge bath. So here I go. I'm going to do his hands. I'm going to go in between his fingers. And I'm just going to keep massaging my baby, okay? And when I'm done with the front, I'm going to rinse him. Let me go back down again to the feet. I go between his little toes. Hi, Bracey. Yeah. So the front is now finished. He's been lathered up. He's been soaped up. What am I going to do now? I'm going to take a little bit of warm water and not worrying too much about getting my sink area wet, I'm just going to gently rinse my baby off with the warm water. There I go. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing off. He's a little longer than your newborn will be because he's a bit bigger because he's not really a newborn anymore. There we go. All rinsed off. Step two. This is the trickier part of bathing a baby and it might be something you're nervous about when you first do it, but you're going to get the hang of it very quickly you are going to hold your baby so that you can wash their back. And the way you do this is by putting your hand underneath your baby like this and supporting them, okay? Here I go with my soap. And you can see Bracey being a little bit bigger. And I'm washing his back, the back of his legs, and I get within his butt and I do the back of his neck. And then I rinse that part like this. There I go. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Sorry, baby. Rinse, 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 rinse. Boom, boom, boom. That part is done. And we're on to the final part of the bath, which is the head and the neck. For this part, you place your baby back like this and you wash their head like this. And then when you rinse your baby, you're gonna lean their head back. You never wanna get water into the, onto their face and you don't wanna apply soap to their face. You also wanna avoid the umbilical cord area when they're a little, little baby. So now he's soaped up there, and I'm gonna make sure that there's no soap that's left on his front, 
And now I'm going to rinse his head. There we go, Bracy. Boom, boom, boom. And what you can do is sort of put one hand here to protect the water from going down into the face area. There we go, always back. Back and away from the face. So there I am rinsing my baby. If you need more water, you refill up your bowl with warm water. And that is what you use to rinse a little bit more. There we go. There we go. When all of this is done, you take your towel. You wrap your towel around your baby like this and pick your baby up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back soon on cloudmom.com for more how-to videos.